I think it's a very, very important uh, event and uh, I am happy to see it becoming a regular annual event because as, as we said, uh, family medicine is the backbone and the base of the pyramid in any health care uh, organization. Family medicine goes beyond training, tra treating diseases to early intervention, to prevention and also to promote health. To, to teach people about a healthy lifestyle. You know, healthy lifestyle, simple things like eating healthy, high fiber, low fat, and exercising daily, even if it is 10 minutes to start with. This goes way beyond treating disease. It prevents most of the modern age diseases, including cancer. And more importantly, it makes people enjoy life. After an exercise, uh, you take a shower, you're in, in a great mood and nobody can disturb you or can upset you. So we aim to show people how to enjoy their life and prevent disease and live happily. And we hope with, uh, to succeed in that. The family physicians would definitely see elderly patients during their uh, daily practice. Uh, they are supposed to uh, <clears throat> to be able to handle the cases from a multidisciplinary way and uh, leave the referral to the uh, tertiary or secondary uh, care to the end. So uh, <clears throat> having such a conference will uh, w uh, and, and emphasizing on the on elderly issues like major issues wh what I mean what we call as geriatrician we call them geriatric giant like dementia, Alzheimer, fall and uh, <coughs> other uh, and, and osteoporosis. Uh, I think it's a must for the family physicians now to be able to handle these, issue, the, these problems in order to provide the, the uh, better and the proper care for their clients. It was more than excellent. Uh, I was very happy to chair uh, this session and hopefully we can do it next year. Uh, I'm very proud that the session was very successful, attracted so many uh, um, uh, audience to come and listen and we had a great interaction from the speakers and from the audience. Uh, the topics were really good. As we all know that uh, primary health care is, uh, uh, is the provision of comprehensive uh, care uh, from different uh, aspects, physical, psychological, uh, mental and the preventive services. Uh, that's why the conference is concentrating all, on all these aspects in addition to the uh, women's health. So it is a comprehensive uh, topic that tackle all aspects of primary health care. For sure, uh, the best health systems in the world are the health systems that are based on good, high quality uh, primary health care systems. And that's why I think such conference that uh, dealing with uh, primary health care services is of uh, utmost importance for uh, any country in the world. really wanted to bring to attention uh, of the family practitioners uh, the opportunities with medical tourism, uh, both the opportunities and the problems uh, as well, and to demonstrate what was possible uh, within the UAE, the way in which the UAE market uh, can be uh, increased and the way in which they can make a contribution to this. Always remembering that the first thing to remember is uh, that standards are important. Uh, we in the UAE have got uh, probably the highest number of JCI accredited hospitals who are available to deal with uh, tourist problems uh, from patients who come from outside the country and from inside the country uh, uh, if they have something that requires uh, major uh, uh, consultation in terms of the experience of the doctors and the facilities uh, that are going to uh, uh, be used to manage the patient in. Well, I'm delighted uh, to see so many people at the conference and uh, in this year of uh, Women's Year uh, I'm absolutely delighted to see that so many general practitioners are female and that, that so many of them uh, attending the conference are also national and that's a big boost for uh, women Speaking as a father of four daughters, that's a big boost for, wim for women within medicine.
and my major in the prevention of many chronic diseases. And so we do many uh, uh, health prevention studies for health care. And uh, my topic here will be the uh, management, management of the uh, cardiovascular disease risk factors. The risk factors include diabetes, uh, obesity, and uh, hypertension, etc. So we have many uh, strategies to control these uh, chronic risk factors like behavior change, like evidence-based medication, etc. Family medicine care uh, the patient's problem in any kind, especially in the primary prevention and chronic disease management. And in uh, my country, it's the base of the healthcare system. So I'm coming at this from a hospital specialist perspective, so normally my conferences are very now dedicated to my specialty and usually often, often at a molecular level as well. So it's quite nice to see a conference that actually includes all the various medical specialties and also I think what struck me was how practical everything was and so when I was thinking of doing my talk today when I was looking at the subjects that were being covered um, I, I was thinking well if I was a family doctor working in Dubai or in the Middle East you know what what problems might I face and actually in my specialty they're fairly universal so that I would be seeing the same problems here as I would be back in London. No, I was very pleased to be invited and obviously the Booper Cromwell Hospital sponsored me to come and uh, they're very positive because I think that hospital sees a lot of patients in London uh, from the UAE and Dubai so um, I think they're very keen to promote links and make sure that uh, you know they, that the faces get known and so if you're being referred or you see somebody that the people in Dubai know who you've seen and that uh, and hopefully they think they know what they're talking about but uh, maybe you'll have to ask them after my talk today whether they think that's still the case. Uh, well, my expectations definitely higher um, as uh, being a um, chairperson uh, for the scientific committee. Uh, definitely, I will uh, focus um, on different topics uh, because in 2014 we mainly focus on chronic disease. This year we had a variety of topics, and next year uh, definitely uh, the themes are being set already because uh, we work in a three years plan and we will work around that theme and it will be launched uh, soon uh, after this event. And this company is Crops and Clocks, owned by a doctor, Dr. Fatima Al Ghafli. And under the patronage of Sheikh Khalifa Fund for Enterprise Development, we give this concept of having a medical boutique in United Arab Emirates. Participation is uh, brilliant, and we are happy with the turnout of the crowd, as well as the visitors, trade visitors, and the participants from different countries, especially from those who are coming from Saudi Arabia. So they had something new from our side. Operation Smile UAE is an international charity that provides free corrective surgeries for children born with cleft lip or cleft palate and other facial deformities. Yeah, it was great to be here. We were happy to be here. We made a lot of um, connections that I think will be important to Operation Smile in the future.